strong back jamming today, my friends, as we head in for our session. We're still polishing up the routine. If you remember this time last week, we were going in for deadlifts day and deadlifts day last week wasn't top notch. I think I should have a day off before I start deadlifts. However, I don't think I need a day off when it comes to working the back. The back, stronger muscle group, and one very important difference between working back and working chest is when you're working the back, you don't have to push anything off of your back. So for example, if I did back before chest, when I'm doing bench press, I might be a little fatigued and it's a little nerve wracking when you have a little bit too much weight on your chest and you can't get it off like that. So come in for a chest day, pretty fresh, follow up with a back day. And uh, even if you're a bit fatigued, you're just doing like rowing and lifting and pulling, that kind of thing. It's a lot safer. So that's the theory, that's the philosophy. It's looking at this point, like day one is chest, day two is back, day three is break, and uh, we come back for day four with deadlifts. And of course, you know, that's subject to change as well. We're still figuring this out. So we're going to jump in the gym, get back day done, report back to you, check out this clip, and we'll see you on the flip. If you're over 30 and a little bit flabby and a little bit fluffy and want to learn how you can get into better condition, stronger, more endurance, a little bit tougher, then hit me up, Noxoma, at ProtonMail.com. I can help you out with a little bit of consulting and some tips and maybe even some coaching. All right, my friends, another good one. I must say that the chest day, back day, one-two punch so far has gone quite well and I didn't have any soreness or anything from yesterday's workout and the funny thing is man the shoulder plays up you know it aches during upper body day chest and shoulders day but on back day calm quiet no pain no soreness so I work them out a little bit and I have noticed that when I do have muscle soreness and sometimes it's chronic when I work it the muscle soreness goes away or at least diminishes why is that well they tell me that because when you work it more fluids blood synovial fluid that kind of thing. Nutrition, protein, all the stuff that repairs muscle damage goes to the muscles. So I'm going to accept that as factual just because it seems to be happening. My fitness journey has been on and off for a very long time. So it's likely that I have forgotten a lot of what I learned. And there might be some new stuff, but last time I checked, the body still works the way it worked, you know, 40, 50 years ago. So anyway, thought I would throw that in there. No extra charge. <laughs> Thanks as always for joining me. Remember, thumbs up, subscribe, uh, follow, uh, 
share that's the ticket share any comments questions encouragement in the comments box really appreciate you guys see you next workout